What's up with you? For today's video, we're the full Nikert Evolution team. So we've got Nikert and Thiefel making up this entire team, which is going to be very, very difficult with only two Pokemon. So what I'm going to be doing is doing the normal Pokemon and the shiny versions of this team to make up a team of four. If we do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my sweeps, theme teams, Pokemon shiny hunting, and all other forms of salty entertainment. The link is in the description of the video. Go drop me a follow there if you haven't already. Today I've got uh, three battles with the Nike Evolution team, and I really hope you enjoy. This is a battle, oh, I think it was on the White Cop against uh, Romaine here, and we've got a Cottony lead, which is nice and orange and shiny. Now, today should be a double upload day, I believe, so if you uh, haven't checked out, I think this will be the second video because I'll be away at this time. I'm going on a little bit of a break, so I think uh, while I go away, this will be a double upload there. So make sure you check my channel out if you're looking for another upload. Okay, so we've got a Cottony lead here. I'm going to be swapping into my Nugget here. We've got a Attract Home Claws Baton Pass and Nasty Plot Set. This is all based around trying to help out like maybe uh, one of my more powerful Thievul on this team, right? This is a very, very difficult team to run, right? Because it has so many weaknesses and it, I don't know, I feel like it's just it's, it's very, very awkward stats on this Pokemon, right? So we're going to Solar Beam Cotton here, only on Pinrush Show, right? And Solar Beam's not going to do too much here. I'm quite, I'm kind of a bulky set on this one, yeah? So this one is an Everlight set. we got Max uh, Health and I've also got... Uh, max speed here. So I'm going to go for home claws and I'll see if I can maybe baton pass a couple of these away. The whole thing with this set right is to attract the foe and uh, well the opponent and the foe and uh, once you get the attract going you could set up stats. Right? You could pass on a home claws or you could pass on a nasty plot because I've got some mixed sets on my team. So I've got some physical attackers and some special attackers right. So that sort of worked out really well if I could do that. You know sometimes it would get one shot and before I could even pass the stat off. Uh, so going for another home clause here. I also feel like um, especially Thievul, right? It's just one of those Pokemon no one really cares about, you know? I actually don't mind it as a Pokemon, but it's got such uh, it's, it's got such odd sort of stats, right? And its abilities aren't super amazing either. In this uh, team, I try to make use of all of its abilities, like, uh, you know, Unburden and Stake Out, right? I always try to do that. We're actually very, very close to completing all the Gen 8 evolutions as well. So here we got another Solar Beam here. We're going to go for Baton Pass. Let's pass those stats off. I was thinking, who would be the best one to swap it into. And it's like, let's go to my other Nikon, right? This is a shiny one. I actually really like the shiny on this. It's good. It's like a, uh, a gray and a uh, like a dark blue. Uh, maybe almost navy blue when you look at it. I've got Home Claws, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Play Rough here. This is a physical set. We've got Max Speed and Max Hack. I've got Unburden as the ability, and I've got the Focus Sash as the item. So when my Focus Sash activates, you know, Unburden will kick in and, you know, double that speed. So go for Play Rough there at a plus two. It really doesn't do a lot. This has definitely got Everlight. I'd say this Cottony has got absolutely everything invested in bulk here. Uh, so here comes a Solar Beam from Cottony. Now, I mean... The, the, the Nike before only was, it was an Everlight set, so it's probably going to take it a lot better. This one is definitely not going to take it as well, right? So Solar Beam doesn't take me to my Swash. It's going to take me all the way down to uh, 18 health. So it was close enough, right? Now I can go for another play rough here and take that out. The good thing about Home Claws is it did actually uh, make all my attacks 100% accurate. Mainly only, uh, you know, play rough, right? Because, I don't know, I feel like I miss a play rough a lot. Next Pokemon is the Stunfist Gala. I mean, I can go for a knockoff here. That'll probably be the most damage I can do. I know that I can outspeed it because Stunfist is very, very safe. Uh, so go for that knockoff and really does disappointing damage. I knock off a Throat Spray there. Here comes a Earth Power and that is going to be enough to take out my knockoff. That's alright though. Um, I actually did uh, pretty well with that. I, I took out uh, nearly a Pokemon and a half, I guess you could say. We're going to go into Thievul here and this Thievul set is a special one. So I've got Nasty Plot, Psychic, and Burning Jealousy. I'm like, well, it's it's the sun's up. I might as well go for a, a Burning Jealousy here. Hopefully this will be enough to take out the Stunfist. Stunfist is kind of thick, though, so it actually managed to live and get a Steel Beam off. So a fully special uh, Stunfist here, right, which is really, really cool. So we've got uh, loads of damage there. It is going to take itself out with a recoil, which is good. Now, this set was a max speed, max special attack set. I've got Tibber Nature on this as well. Now, the next Pokemon to come out here is going to be the Blastoise. 
This might be a theme team as well. So if you can guess what the theme team is, please leave a uh, comment below. And once again, if you do enjoy the theme teams, people, please drop a like on it. It helps my channel out so much. And of course, a video too. Only takes one second. Absolutely appreciate it if you could do that. All right, so we got the uh, Blastoise going for a Shell Smash here, right? Uh, we're going to go for the Dank Pulse. There. Oh, I actually wanted to try and get a Flint right? It does pretty good damage. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I can go for another Dank Palsy, but I feel like an attacking move is most definitely coming my way. And it's going to go for Endure. I'm like, okay, uh, they want to be on one health there. Interesting. They either want to go for like a move like Flail or you know, Reversal or something like a Berry. And then it's going to eat your berries. Like, okay, that makes sense. So the Blastoise is going to have a Leechy Berry. So it's a physical attacking Blastoise. Uh, this is bad because it's already got a Shell Smash off. And it's already quite fast before that. So it's going to go for a Mega Kick. And C4 is going to go down. So Shell Smash, Mega Kick. I like it. Very, very uh, unique. So the next Pokemon I'm going to bring in is C4 here. Now, this is my Stakeout Red Card set. The thing about Stakeout, right, is you get more damage when a Pokemon swaps in. How do you make sure a Pokemon swaps in? Well, you put red card on the set, right? So this is my, this is the best strategy I can come up with in single battles for stakeout. And it, it, most of the time, I, you know, it does some really good damage. So I'm going to take that out with the, uh, that was the sucker punch there. I got knockoff acrobatics and play rough here. I mean, knockoff would do a lot of damage and sucker punch is priority. So I've got max stack and max speed and jolly nature on this level as well. So I was waiting for them to make a move. And then the Charizard went for a belly drum. Like, oh no, this is very bad. So it's going to get a pl insta plus six in attack, right? I went for knockoff here. Knockoff does a lot of damage, but it managed to live there. I got rid of its citrus berries. So I was like, okay, well, I can go for a sucker punch here. Yeah, they know that I've got sucker punch. So what are they going to do? Try and go for another belly drum to sort of like, you know, out predict me. And then the Charizard went for a smoke screen. I'm like, what? Smoke screen Charizard. Only on people. I shout out people. So now I'm actually dropped. They can actually go for an attacking move here, and I could miss with Sucker Punch. I'm thinking, what should I do here? Should I swap out? Should I say the evil? Like, what are my options? I'm like, you know what? Let's just go for it. And Sucker Punch does land, thank goodness. And the Dra uh, no, no, the Dragonite. The uh, Charizard is going to go out. I, I was watching a thing before with Dragonite and Charizard. That's what made me um actually say that. So the uh, next Pokemon is the Mianxiao. And if this has got any sort of fighting move, I'm in deep, deep doo-doo. So we're going to go into Nike here. We're going to Calm Mindset. So it's a special Mianxiao. These sets have not been straightforward. They've been some really cool, interesting, uh, uh, unique sets. So I have no idea what this is going to do, right? So it's boosted a special attack. Now the uh, moves that can't get a focus miss, uh, I know that for a fighting move. That's quite shaky, actually. So it's quite limited on the special side. So I do have a track and I might be able to give my uh, some stats off here. And now it's going to go for a Hyper Beam with a normal gem attached as well. With plus one and special attack. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely am not going to be able to live this. So bye-bye. Uh, All I've got left now is my uh, Thievul. My, uh, my first Thievul from earlier on. Right. So I'm going to swap that back in. This is a stakeout set. Now, I know a Pokemon is left on my opponent's team. So I started to uh, you know get a plan together. So Play Rough is super effective against Mianchao. It's also going to be super effective against the other Pokemon, right? Well, that was the idea. Anyway, so here comes the Play Rough. It's going to land, right? And now, right, I can go for a Dynamax and then a Max Starfall. The reason I'm doing this, you'll see in a second, right? Not only because it's super effective against Mianchao, but I know that it's going to be super effective against the next Pokemon. Now, if I get hit by any sort of move right here, um, red card will activate and swap in another Pokemon. That was the idea anyway, or just take it out in general, right? So uh, here we go, Dynamax, uh, Dynamax, Steve. oh, there's a, like a low battery thing up the top there. Oh, my controller ran out of power, I had to quickly rush in, you know, and plug it in. So here comes another Hyper Beam, look at the damage that did. If I didn't Dynamax, it would have been on such a low amount of health. Red card is going to kick in, Mianxiao is going to get flinged out of the battle, and their other Pokemon was Ditto, so I knew Ditto was the last Pokemon, right? I knew if my red card went off and forced the, 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 a random Pokemon, they only had two left, right? And uh, Ditto was the only one that wasn't on the field, so I knew that would come in, transform into Thievul, and get hit by a super effective Max Starfall. So that was the plan right there. Always got to worry about Ditto, because you never know if you get set up or with, like, I don't know, like some nice stats or any, any sort of set, right? It can just come in and copy them. It's such a great Pokemon. So Ditto has fainted, and the last Pokemon is the Meowchow from earlier on. We know that it's got Hyper Beam here, right? Um, I've got Max Starfall, and we haven't had a Dynamax yet, so I'm thinking... 
What is this going to do? Does it, is his Hyper Beam its strongest move? That he's very limited on the special side. I've got Max Starfall and Max Airstream. I'm thinking, should I go for the speed here to try and outspeed? I mean, Max Starfall is a little bit more powerful. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Like, if it does drop my attack, if it goes for a normal type move, that's going to drop my speed by like Max Strike. So there's not really much point going for a flying type move if that happens right. And all I've seen it use so far is Hyper Boom. So it may be its only attacking move with Car Mine there, right? Especially if they had it like a normal gem too. I feel, I feel like it's really based around Hyper Boom. So uh, Mount Chow's going to go for the Max Strike like I sort of thought there. And I went for the Max Starfall. It's going to be a little bit more in base power too. And also, it's um, I don't really care about my speed anymore, right? So we're going to go for Max Starfall. Was I expecting it to take the Manchi out from here? I was like, it might just live, but it didn't. It was actually enough to take it out there with a crit. I'd say it would have lived there because Steve's attack isn't the greatest in the world. And uh, that, my friends, is the very first battle. Thank you for the battle, Romain. They're a really, really cool uh, unique bunch of sets there. Uh, the smoke screen belly drum charge that was awesome. And a couple of the others there too. Let's get on to battle number two. This one was against uh, Coop the Scoop. And we got a four versus four Pokemon battle. Now, the first Pokemon out here is going to be a Ruffler. So it's good to see Ruffler. Actually, we've seen a Ruffler in one of my videos kind of recently. I'm just, I'm just trying to estimate when this video will be uploaded. So the, the, the video that you're watching right now, like right now in the narration I'm doing, I should be back. I'm having a break and stuff. So I should be back today, but I'm having about four to five days off. Just a little bit of a you know, battery recharge before the uh, new Remax and stuff. So uh, we're going to tail in from the Ruffler, and I'm going to go for Knock Off here. So Knock Off does pretty good damage, and I'm going to knock off a Focus Sash. I'm like, I didn't even get it to its Sash, so that's kind of how bad it was, right? Now, Sucker Punch will be able to take this out, and I will be able to get around the Tailwind too. So like, okay, let's go for Sucker Punch. Let's take this out. Hope it doesn't go for a Status Move. And it does it, and Stripes, the Rufflet is going to be no more. Now, the next Pokemon to come in is going to be Baravri. So we have a Rufflet Evolution team versus the Nyked Evolution team. It's going to be a, a rough battle, if you know what I'm saying, right? I really like Bravery Shine. It looks great. That blue and the uh, the coloring on its, on its uh, it's uh, just above its beak, uh, the red and the blue, and then its tail with a blue, yellow, and red. Looks great. It looks really right. And the brown actually kind of suits it, too. It's sort of like, I don't know, like those colors really like pop out because the brown's such like a, uh, I don't know, what's the name? Maybe neutral, I guess you could say it is. So we got the uh, Hyper Beam. Another Hyper Beam. Man, this, these beams are flying out from everywhere. They're very hype. So here it comes on my Thievil. And that did a lot of damage there. That's going to do three-quarter damage. So it's a special set. Now, the red card Stakeout is going to come into effect there. I'm running max health and max attack. So I'm going to be able to tank moves a lot more. Ruffet's going to be forcibly swapped in here. Stakeout is going to kick in there and give me that boost in attack. But Rufflet lived. I'm like, wow, it lives so well because of the Everlight. So if there's any other Pokemon, like any other, I'd say if it was maybe another Bravery, right? It, it would have one shot at it. But man, that uh, that Ruffle was so tanky, guys. Like. So this thing comes out, right? I thought, okay, I've knocked this Everlight off. I shouldn't have any more problems, right? Uh, now it's going to go for a root, so it's going to get its health back. So when it's roosting up, He's going to get almost all of its health back. So I know it's got Roost. I'd say it'd have some sort of attacking move, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe a status move here. Because you wouldn't need, like, rest and sleep talk. So we're going to go for acrobatics now that I've lost my red card. Pretty good damage there, I will say. And now Ruffer's going to go for a bulk up on my old oh dear. So if you can imagine, right, if that still had its Everlight, how bulky it would be. Like, that, I'd be doing, like, nothing. So, I'm thinking right here, well, I've got Acrobatics. Let's go for that. I'd say it's probably going for a Roosty, yeah? So, Acrobatics hits hard, and it lives on, like, one health. Oh, man. And now it's going to get its health back. And the 20-minute timer, you know, it's just, it's waving to me right now. It's just saying, hello, I'm I'm here to stay, baby. So, what can I do? I, there's not a lot, right? I can keep spamming Acrobatics and hopefully maybe get a crit. And, or just putting it on a low amount of health and I can maybe revenge KO with another one of my Pokemon. At this stage, I really wasn't sure. I was thinking, maybe I should swap into my special people. But, I don't know. I don't really want to swap into this Ruffler, right? In case it has a strong physical move. And it's, already, it's got a nice base attack already. And it's got if it has Hustle, that's going to be also bad as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's got Crush Claw. You don't get to see that move very often. And Thievil is going to faint to it. So it's a good thing I didn't swap into that. That could have been bad. 
So now we're going to go into my Thievul number two here. And I can go, I can either go for a nasty plot or I can go just straight up Dynamax. It's like, okay, let's just get some damage here. Let's do, I want to put it on a lower mana health so I can actually take it out, right? So going for the Burning Jealousy and it does nothing. They're going to go for Roost. I thought they might go for an attacking move there. I wanted to put it on a little bit of health there so I can maybe, uh, Maybe try and boost off on it with another Pokemon, but it didn't work out. So, like, okay, let's just go for Nasty Plot. I should have done that in the first place instead of going for Burning Jealousy, right? So, I've got plus two in Special Attack here. Rufflet's going to go for Toxic. So, the set is Roost, Toxic, Bulk Up, and Crush Claw. So, with that Everlight, uh, I'd say... This is what I'd say their set is. I'd say they're running Max Health and they're running Max Special Defense, right? And... Uh, like and bulk ups like sort of covering the defense and attack right so it's going to be like insanely bulky so i have to go for dynamax now like only on pimp Knight's channel do you need the dynamax with against like a rufflet with no everlight right just remember these things these things are a very important milestones to remember watching my videos so we got the nice shiny team we are actually really do, do like the shiny versions of it i'd say theme was like a it's like a fox right i think i did that in my fox pokemon team recently uh, so go for Max Diamonds on the Rufflet, and that is enough to take it out. Great. So I could have done that earlier on, but once again, I didn't want to swap this into a Crush Claw. So it is what it is, people. At least I took it out. So taking some damage there for the Toxic. The next Pokemon is going to be USA, and I know that's going to be Bravery, but it's a non shiny Bravery. It's like, okay. So I've got Max Darkness, which will... Okay, this is what I was thinking. Max Darkness is going to be good, but it's also going to be bad. Because if this Bravery has Defiant, it's going to boost its attack, which is going to be very, very bad if it is a physical set, right? But I sort of need to go for my strongest move, because let's face it, Thievul isn't the most powerful Pokemon out there. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's, it's very underwhelming all around, you know what I mean? Like, just stat-wise and, and move-wise, it's kind of it's kind of limited as well, you know what I mean? And in its typing, it's just like dark type, right? So Bravery's going to go for a back strike here. Um, it's going to outspeed me. It's going to do a lot of damage. The next one is easily going to take me out. The bad thing is, it's actually going to drop my speed too. So I've got no way of, no hope in actually ever being able to outspeed me. So go for Max Darkness. That does, it's about a two hit KO, maybe a three hit KO, right? So I'm going to drop the special events is what I wanted to write, but now it's going to have Define. I'm like, ah, oh, man, but I needed to do that much damage. That's the thing, right? So I'm thinking right here, maybe I should go for a Max Guard to stall out another turn of its Dynamax. And then it'll take my Thievul out on the next turn. And at least then I've got around its Dynamax. And I might be able to do something with my other two Nikon. I'm not really sure at the moment. So uh, here comes the Max Strike. Like I uh, you know, knew was going to happen. And I've got like one more turn left. Toxic's going to take me out anyway. Or Bravery. It doesn't really matter at this stage. And I don't really want to swap in any of my other two Pokemon at this stage either. Like, I might be able to get some Baton Passes swap. That's, you know, that's about it, right? It's 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 not looking good. So I've got Dank Pulse, Psychic, and Burning Jealousy. None of these are really going to do a lot. Uh, so I went for Dank Pulse. Here comes a Max Airstream. And yeah, Thievul is going to be taken out there. That's uh, very, very bad right now. So I've only got two uh, baby Pokemon left. I've taken out two Rufflers. The thing about this battle, right, when you look at it, I took out both the Rufflets, but I didn't take out the Baravaries, right? That Rufflet caused me a lot of, uh, you know, problems right there. So it now is out of the Dynamax, which is good, right? But I want to know what sort of set this is. So I've got Attract and I've got Home Claws. I'm thinking, well, this is my last hurrah here. Let's just go for Attract and see what happens, right? It is going to be a Retaliate set. Damn. That is a lot of damage right there. That one shots my Everlight Nike. Man, this is very bad. So I've got the uh, last one. This is my physical. It does have a sash, which is going to be good. Um, but it does have an airstream up. So I'm thinking, well, I might not be out. out. I, I would love to go for a knockoff now and go for the sucker punch after. So let's go ahead and do that. Ruffy's going to outspeed me and go for the retaliate here. That's easy going to take me down to, you know, one health. Like retaliate is not even getting its like KO boost. It's just coming off raw base power from Bravery and its attack rate. So good damage here with a knockoff. It's got an assault vest. Oh man, that was that was bad. No wonder it took my attack so well. So like that would have done a lot more. I'd say it would have done like three quarters damage before. Going for Sucker Punch and I think it was just enough to take out the uh, the retaliating Bravery. I'm very, very happy about that. That thing was destroying my team. Last Pokemon is the Merica. We've seen this before. It is a special set and we know that it's got Hyper Beam, right? Now I'm thinking right here, should I out? Should I go for knockoff here? 
or should I go for Sucker Punch? I just don't know what to go for because I feel like I need a crit on both of these moves. Like, Knock Off would be great, but, you know, Sucker Punch would be good because that'll guarantee me going first against Bravo. It's like, okay, let's go for Sucker Punch. That's the move to go for, unless it goes for a status move, which I very, very much doubt because I'm on one health. Sucker Punch is not going to take it out, and Bravery is going to go for a disrespect hyper beam. This is what this is overkill, and my Polar Nugget is going to get destroyed there. But a very very crazy battle, and really cool. Rough for Evolution Team. I actually have never done that one on my YouTube channel before, but I'm sure I'll do it at a one stage, and I'll I might consider doing a um, a bulky ruffle myself. That thing was an absolute uh, beast. Let's get on to battle number three. This is a pretty quick one. This is against Mr. Gulfsword, and we got another 4v4. So I really like having these uh, 4v4s uh, battles. They're, they're cool. So we got a Dragovish lead here, and I got my Feeble lead. So like, okay, uh, wonder what this set is going to be. Now, it's going to go for Rain Dance, so that rain is going to be flowing. So any water-type moves are going to hit me pretty hard. Let's be real about it. Now, this is my stakeout set, yeah, as you already know. I went for Play Rough here. I was hoping I'd actually get hit by a move, swap it in, and then go for a Play Rough, right, with a stakeout boost. Watch this, right? So, Dragovich goes for the Skull, which is great. Red card is going to kick in here and throw out the Dragovish. And I went for play rough, right? Because I know what the team preview was. It's for Dragovish, right? And I'm going to go for a stakeout, boost and play rough, and it misses. Oh, that was so unlucky. Now we got the Dragovish. Uh, it's going to go for Iron Head here. It's a flinch. It's called Togovish, like after Togius, because like Scumbag Serene Grace and flinches and stuff. And it's going to go for another Iron Head and take my Thievel out. That was really, really bad luck right there. Like, Absolutely nothing went my way. Now we're gonna go into the uh, the, the first Nike here. I can go for a um, uh, I can go for a boosting move right here. It's gonna go for Iron Head and put me on one health, which is very very bad. I'm really scared about getting flinched here as well. It's like horrible. So go for the play rough here, and it does very very good damage. But doesn't quite take it out. But I can actually go and follow it up with a sucker punch and take Togefish out. So that's good. At least I you know at least I took one out there. Things are looking. Things are looking bad for a second. Next Pokemon is, is Vichy Leg Day. You can't miss Leg Day. Like, look at Dragovish's legs. Like, they're thick. They're very, very thick. So go for knockoff there. I get a crit, which is very, very juicy. And I had a, had a damp rock. I was like, okay. Uh, we got the skull here. And that is going to take out my second knockoff. That's all right. I've got one more Thiebel left. I pro you know what I need to do, right? I've got that uh, the knockoff with the um, baton passing one, right? I might be able to get some stats off. At this at this point in time, I'm like, I don't know if I can actually get the stats off. So I tank that skull rather well. I am running a bulk. He says, okay, this is great. I can go for a nasty plot here. And then I can baton pass it off. And since I'm slower than the Dragovish, right, my incoming Thievel won't take any extra damage. And then, you know, I can Dynamax then and, and go for the dub. Well, that was, that was the plan anyway, right? So go for the baton pass there. It's not normal that I'd usually an entire baton passing Pokemon on one team, but I thought I'd mix things up a bit uh, on, on this team, right? So going to Thievel, I've got an Insta Plus 2 and Special Attack. I'm not even playing any games anymore. I could have gone for another Nazi plot, but it is basically my last Pokemon because my, uh, you know, my other Pokemon just like purely set up with status, right? And there's still like three more Dragovish to, uh, you know, to deal with, right? And who knows what sort of troll sets they're going to be. Like, Thiefel's not even bulky either. I'm only running like a sweeping one, right? So now we're going to go for the Max Darkness here. That's going to be my most powerful move. And that is going to take out the Fishy Leg Day. So that's two down and two to go. So very nice. Now, my opponent also has a... Uh, their own Dynamax to go for as well. So next is Vicious Pain. Oh no. So go for your yeah, Max Darkness there. I hope you're going to take Vicious Pain out because I don't want to feel the Vicious Pain. And I am. I'm going to one-shot it, which is great. So I, I'm very glad about that. Let's be real. Probably would have been Water wa water Absorb. No, wait. Water Absorb, Water Gum. Next Pokemon has got to go Fish. That, that reminds me that I think that's a... Sp I think that's... um. When you play the card game, Fish, you know, you, you're looking for certain cards and then you tell your... um. Uh, you tell the other player, like, go fish, and you've got to grab another card. And the idea of the card game is to get rid of, like, all your cards. I haven't played that game in ages. It's actually pretty fun. Reminds me of your blood. Okay, here we go. We've got a nice, fresh, juicy, shiny Master Ball Dragovish. Looks very, very good. Actually quite suits it. And I'm going to go for Max Darkness here. I'm going to try and drop that special defense. That'll help me out a lot. Good quality damage, though. I'm happy with that. That's very, very nice. I might be able to... There's a chance here at the moment, right? Now, Dragwish is going to go for a Max Rolfo. Mate, why is he going for Max Rolfo? And I'm like, oh, no. 
So I know what I know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be hidden ability, and that sand is gonna make it go very, very fast, outspeeding my Thievul. Not that Thievul is, you know, not that Thievul's really that fast, you know, in, in general. Right. So that is the last turn of my uh, of my Dynamax here, and I've, I've got to attack this thing right now. It's gonna go for a Max Quake. So Max Quake is gonna be hitting me very hard, and Thievul is going to get one shot right there. All I've got left is my attracting, home closing, baton passing, nasty plotting Nikit. So it's pretty much GG there. I tried very, very hard, but in the end, it, uh, yeah, I got destroyed there. But thank you very much for all the people that have built some really cool, a difficult evolution team to run. I'll be back. This should be a double upload tonight, so I should have already uploaded one, or I'll be back with another one later on. All right, people. Peace out.